Danny, you know, this is my first trip uh, out here ice fishing, so I've always been an open water guy. So a flasher screen is something that I'm not really used to. I was wondering if maybe you'd be able to take a few minutes to explain to us what we're looking at here on the screen. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the cool thing is the engineer team did a great job designing this um, flasher page to be really easy to see. And as you can see, we got the traditional flasher wheel here. Then we've got some actual zoom windows on each side of there. So, you know, this is my jig right here at 18 feet. We're in 22 feet of water. So that solid line down there is going to be the 22 feet. There's a little perch just above it. And as I jig my rod, you can kind of see that bait come up and down. Now these, these zoom windows on the side, right now we're zoomed all the way out. But you can see that's the entire water column from zero down to 22 feet, zero down to 22 feet. And what we can actually do with those zoom windows is zoom into the bottom of the lake. So we're crappie fishing right now. We don't want any zoom. We want to be able to see the entire water column. But if we're walleye fishing, we could actually zoom in on the bottom three feet and really be able to see those fish as they come through and um, you know, know that that's just kind of the water part of the water column they're in. Okay, awesome. Now, is this the only type of flasher style screen that these units are capable of showing, or what other kind of sonar images are we able to look yeah, at? Yeah, no, not at all. So, flasher is probably one of the most popular for ice fishing mm -hmm. just because we've used it for so long. But a lot of people, including myself, like to use just traditional sonar okay. when we're actually fishing on the ice. And the reason for that is it gives you that scroll history because it's kind of fun to watch mm -hmm. as the fish comes up and goes back down as it's chasing your bait. But you also, with the A scope turned on, have the instant on the right. Right. and you can even zoom on that and then of course with the right transducer the 53 can even give you clear view in the summertime okay awesome yeah we're gonna take a quick second we're gonna change this to that other uh, traditional screen just so we can see yeah. what that looks like while we're running what a traditional select right there perfect okay so now we're, we're looking at the the traditional sonar screen on, on the same exact unit yeah, absolutely. So if you look there, there's my jig at 15 and I'll drop it down to 20 here. And so as I move my jig, so it's instant on the right there and what we call the A scope. And then everything to the left of that is kind of the history of what has happened. So okay. it's kind of fun. You know, if we, if a fish comes in, you'll be able to kind of see that as the fish mm -hmm. chases your bait, but it just gives you a little bit bigger of a picture and um, you're able to watch your jig in a little bit different way. There's a big one at like 30 I, I don't feet. Think I got one. Yeah, you got a perch, but. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs>